How are we doing today, guys? We have Tyler here. Hey, guys. He's a newer finisher. He's 13 years old. I started him, I don't know, probably about two months ago, a month and a half, right after school was out um, for the summertime. And he's going to run an angle. Now, he's not going to run it like I do, but I wanted to show you guys this because he's a newer finisher. He's scooping the mud like I showed him. See? It's halfway out, a little bit thicker than halfway. Now, go ahead. He's going to start at the top up here. And he's gonna try to spread the mud down. Now, keep going. He's, he's, he's this is more of what a, a newer finisher is gonna run an angle like. And you can see he's got a lot of mud on the other side. Now he's done a couple of them in closets. And I'm trying to teach him to spread his mud evenly and, and the way it needs to be. It takes a lot of pan work to get used to the knife. Now you see he's gubered it up real heavy right in here. Now, what he's gonna do is cut that edge first on the outside. Now you see how he cut. Okay, now what I want him to do now is take the mud off the other side of the angle. We'll start up here. And now I'm gonna have him even the mud out. One time. He's gotta you gotta get the right line. Now see, you see the how he's angling his knife down. If he holds it out a little bit more, like that angle right there, and pulls it, it's gonna even it out a little bit more. Okay? And he's taking a little bit more mud off the he's taking mud off the angle. Because what he's trying to do now is just get it smooth. Okay? Now you're gonna turn back and cut the edge. You're gonna cut the edge. Okay, now we're going to smooth it out one more time and we're not going to push it real hard. Okay, now he's going to have to smooth it out again. And you'll see where he's laying his hand down. Now he's digging into the other side because he's pushing too hard. And this is something that rookies have a lot of hard time with. It's not, it's not easy. You really got to get the feel for it. You got to put your finger up on the blade. Don't put any more mud on there. Let the knife do the work. Now see, he dug into the other side. Right there. Good, pull back up from the bottom. Nice and easy, steady. Okay, now go up there. Do the same thing you just did from the bottom. Now, let me tell you what he's doing. Let me show you, okay? So what he's doing is he's holding his knife like this at an angle like this. And what it's doing is this part of the knife right here is cutting into that angle. You've got to be dead at 90 degrees. If you get it 90 degrees, hold on. If you get it 90 degrees and you keep your blade clean, if you keep your knife pretty clean so there's not a lot of slop on it, you're not, you, you don't want to push, you don't want to push hard. And you can get all the goobs out, okay? Now we got some goobers on the other side. He did dig out the other side of the angle here. You can feel it, if you feel it with your hand, you'll be able to feel where it's gouged over here. That's gonna be point up. There's no way around it. But you can still make this a nice square angle, okay? Now you're gonna have little stuff. You don't wanna leave stuff like that, okay? So we're gonna come down one more time and try to fill in the places. And I'm using the mud that he had. Now, you, you, you wanna keep that knife 90 degrees. You do not want that knife angling in like this. If you see the gap between the blade and the angle up there, this part right here is going to cut into that side of the angle over there, which is gonna create point up because it creates a, a literally a divot in the other side of the angle. Now, this is a little bit better, okay? He's got a lot of practice to do, and it's just like any new person. Now, see, that's a little thin. You can see the tape through there? Now, you can see the tape right here in this section, okay? Now, we're gonna pull a little bit from the bottom. He's got some, he's got some heavier spots down here. 
and we kind of took that out a little bit. It's still, it's still a little heavy. Now what I'll do is I'm gonna rerun this on another video and I'm gonna run a couple of them for you and show you how I do it and how it should be done. And he, he's not far, he's just got some practice to do. Anyway, that, I just wanted to show you that one first and, and a rookie trying to learn how to do this. And then I'll show you the next video will be me finishing a final angle. Now, I noticed in the flat in the video, we had a little drag mark when we boxed the house. So as I'm coming through, I'll kind of take these out. Now, all they need to do is just be filled a little bit. It's not that big of a drag. But if you fill these up while you're going through your house, running angles, you're doing touch-ups and stuff, you know. We'll fill around these little things here. And, you know, we'll touch these up one more time before we're done at the end of the day. Just to make it look, look a little nicer, easier to stand. Now, this looks like crap in the video. But believe it or not, it's actually, uh, I'm really close to it. And you can see a little bit of everything. It looks like shit, but it'll dry. It'll dry like this. I mean, when we're done, I'm doing close up so you guys can actually see. But when this house is finished, it's going to be really easy to sand. We're using lightweight muds. And uh, for now, though, we're just running angles, doing angle videos. Thank you.